of Spain and the cup winners against the reigning champions of Europe. But how long will this last? This is the invincible team of Barcelona. Sergio Roberto returns in defence. Andres Iniesta plays his last ever Clásico. Philip Coutinho plays his first ever La Liga Clásico. Well, they'll be hoping that the team are as tuned as their supporters. are in wonderful voice tonight. Sergio Ramos is going to be hiding from him because Ramos has been sent off twice by the referee from Lanzarote. This is the Real Madrid team, Nacho plays a right back, Carvajal is currently injured, Isco is missing as well. The surprise inclusion, I suppose you could say, is that of Gareth Bale. And this is what Liverpool fear, they have a star-studded bench as well moment in time you're never really sure what tactics what system that Zidane is going to choose but it's 4-3-3 three, three. there's Messi Suarez he's looking sharp tonight they combined brilliantly last weekend and they do have this telepathic understanding he's excelled in the last couple of games hasn't he Luis Suarez see perfect pass from Messi but well timed run Messi Suarez, brilliant run here from Sergio Roberto. Now Messi may have been offside, Roberto wasn't. Messi checks himself on, there's a spare man at the far post, and that man is Suarez, and Suarez has scored the first goal of the Clásico. Goal 30 of the season, his most special goal of the season. Every aspect of this goal in terms of technical play is absolutely stunning. Movement off the ball initially, but the delivery of the passing, the timing of the runs off the ball, and eventually an immaculate finish from Luis Suarez. You can see the build up there. Coutinho drops in, the ball in behind. Sergio Roberto continues his run. He has options. Messi's holding his run, then sprints into the penalty area, takes two defenders with him. Sergio Roberto is the type of player that will always see the right and the correct option. It's exactly what he does. Luis Suarez gets great contact, very great connection. Maybe just off the shin slightly, but it's, it's ending up in exactly the place that he wishes to put it. That's back across goal, back across Kayla Navas. Stunning goal from Barcelona. Technically perfect, perfect in so many ways. Alba to Coutinho. Ramos always had him in his sights. Casemiro. Tony Cross takes it brilliantly. The German leaves Busquets behind. Benzema goes right. Ronaldo's always the first port of court. Ronaldo enters the area with intent. Tony Cross, goalkeeper's lost it. Benzema, Ronaldo! Real Madrid back. Ronaldo inspired. Well, I said about Real Madrid sticking in there, this is the Real Madrid way of sticking in games. To get back forward, to get on the front foot, and to get the equaliser. It's against the run of play. Ronaldo does pick up a knock. Just mentioned about Zidane, he's going to be anxious, but... Ronaldo shows his enthusiasm again to get into a goal-scoring position. Involved in the build-up. It's a brilliant cross again. We've seen two crosses of the highest order. This one from Tony Kroos to the far post. Benzema with a header, is it going to go in? I don't think it is, I think Ronaldo has to get there ahead of PK to force home the equaliser. Well, it was courage and commitment for Cristiano Ronaldo to beat PK in the chase. In some ways, Terry, with the league already decided, Real Madrid in the Champions League next season, the players are playing with more freedom, aren't they? They are, and of course, once that first whistle blows in a game as competitive as, as stuff in his own time, still at the peak of his powers. Lionel Messi. Oh, it's a brilliant ball by Messi, wonderful run from Jordi Alba. They are the team that try the impossible, and sometimes it comes off. Well, how many times have we seen that, particularly this season? As soon as Messi gets turned, he knows that Jordi Alba is on the... PK had to get there. Nacho. Oh. Well, Ronaldo took the header, but I think the better place player was behind him in Benzema. Yep. 
what's the chances of uh, Benzema shouting leave it to, to Ronaldo? Maybe just a touch offside. Benzema. Back to by Kroos. Kroos steadies himself, but the shot was rushed. I think Barcelona have an issue with Coutinho on the right. Not tracking the run to Marcelo. Considered the way around Madrid win the ball back quickly, sweeping it forward as quickly as possible. Great take from Tony Kroos. Involved in the build up when they get the ball out wide to Ronaldo. There's not too many white shirts pouring forward on this occasion, just the three. And the total of that attack, Benzema with a head back across from the far post. Ronaldo gets on the end of it, had to get there before BK. Modric, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Superb save from Ter Stegen. <laughs> Stays up. <laughs> Counting goals of Messi and Ronaldo. And then the second is going to give you a remarkable statistic, but that statistic may change here. If Ronaldo scores, but he just whisks one wide at the post. Well, that would have been why, why haven't other players won the Ballon d'Or? Because these two have done it. You see Ronaldo nearly doing it again there. And, you know, it's a long time ago. You could compare them when Ronaldo was left wing, Messi was right wing, the other time across to the left. But the first time finish from Suarez was immaculate. Nacho, big ask for Modric. It's a long way around up TT. Well, Navas has asked for just a one man wall. Messi feeds it in towards him. TT! I think the linesman was his savior. I think the linesman was his savior. Left footed century for Marcelo playing into a wall of whistles. Nacho Modric retrieved by Marcelo. If he wants to get on to his left foot, he does so. It's just a question of when. Ronaldo still rises high despite playing through the pain barrier. Real Madrid clearly had been, in my opinion, the better team in the first half. Good start from Barcelona, but Real Madrid fought back to get the equaliser and having lots of possession. Surprisingly, they, they look the more settled of the two teams. And I say surprisingly because Zidane recently has chopped and changed systems. 4-3-3, 4-4-2. Benzema. Bale is supporting him. Benzema going solo. Sometimes in a striker, greed is a virtue. Again, though, you see Real Madrid sweep up the pitch rather easily. Benzema eventually. Regain their equilibrium. Messi, Suarez. Coutinho. Perfect pass. Lionel Messi, perfect save from Kayla Navas. Rakitic Navas had retreated to his line. Eventually a hopeful attempt from Ivan Rakitic, but you see the understanding between, between Coutinho and Messi. Excellent goalkeeping from Kayla Navas. Suarez. Coutinho was offside, although oh, Suarez is involved in the set two with Sergio Ramos. No interpretation needed. I would have thought those two would have got worked up at some stage during this game. All very untidy, wasn't it? The referee chose to allow the advantage. There wasn't much advantage. Suarez goes to the ground and he really takes offence with something that's either what Ramos has done or said. accusing Ramos of throwing his arm at him. Well, possibly the two most combustible footballers exactly. in world football ever. <laughs> well, they both have a, quite a rap sheet, we know, in the UK, of Luis Suarez uh, previous. Sergio Ramos, next time he is sent off, will be his uh, 25th. It's just a yellow card for now. For now. Let's see what Ramos does, if anything. 
It's an arm to the chest, isn't it? And Suarez really does get worked up. Coutinho lays the ball off. Suarez then push the, pushes the ball pass in towards Coutinho. I think his grandma certainly does everything he can, doesn't he, to try and block Luis Suarez and the run. Well, this between a 30-year-old and a 32-year-old, but still entertaining at the same time. Oh, now Lionel Messi has left his autograph on the shin guard of Sergio Ramos. <laughs> Do you think they're trying to wind Ramos up a little bit here, and Lionel Messi is guilty of that, or was Ramos making the most of it? He tries the Cruyff turn, doesn't he? He tries to cut back inside there. Sergio Roberto to Stegen. There's another incident off the ball here. And Marcelo is down. And the referee shows a straight red. Sergio Roberto dismissed recently against Celta de Vigo. He's off again. This is going to be interesting to see because Sergio Roberto tries to run the ball out, then he lays the ball off, and something happened off the ball. The players have lost their heads, haven't they, in the five minutes or so before half time? A number of bad challenges, a number of head to heads between players. You can see Sergio Roberto tries to run the ball out, he lays the ball off. Marcelo bumps into him, doesn't he? Sergio Roberto throws his arm up. How much does he make contact with Marcelo? It's a slap towards the face, isn't it? Well, it was certainly a slap from Marcelo, but that's the point that Ronaldo... ...have to change their approach, do they? They, they? they have to be patient. When they win the ball back, you can see the impact they're having on the counter-attack. It's Suarez to Lionel Messi. Messi draws the two defenders, gets over the challenge, and Lionel Messi against the odds gives Barcelona the lead. They're a man down, but maybe that doesn't matter when you have Messi on the field. Real Madrid will have to change their approach now. <laughs> Quite surprising to see Barcelona on the counter-attack. Real Madrid so exposed against ten men. And it is brave for Valverde. Any manager, when you have the player sent off and you're on level terms, to still keep the two attacking players on the pitch, up the pitch, looking to score goals, looking to win the game. It helps mind if one of them's Lionel Messi. Suarez does really well here. Tenacious play, there might be a claim from Real Madrid. He has impeded Rafael Varane. Once he moves the ball on to Lionel Messi, we'll see him perfect touch, the perfect amount of touches. Is that just the coming together? Certainly the referee allows the play to continue. Plenty of work for Barcelona to do. Got those little touches from Lionel Messi, continuing to try to set himself up to take on exactly that type of finish. You can see he wraps his foot around there. Again, it's inch perfect. Kaylon Navas probably knows exactly what's happening. Good work to get across from the goalkeeper, but still not good enough. Messi, inch perfect, just in off the post. Sensational goal from Barcelona. Yes, Busquets to Lionel Messi. Suarez finds Rakitic. Rakitic offside. And it is an emotional farewell to Clasico football for the great Andres Iniesta. His 38th Classico has been as dramatic as his first Classico, and most in between. He accepts that he's no longer a 90-minute man, and that is why he's heading off to China to see out the autumn days of his footballing career. Man, woman, child, grandma, granddad, everybody in the camp who stands up to acknowledge the Classico farewell of one of the greats. Rich. Get out by MTT. Luis Suarez hits it long. It's into the slipstream of Messi. The goalkeeper decides to stay. 
Right decision. That's one of the most fearsome sights in football. Lionel Messi bearing down on you with half a field to spare. But on this occasion, it's the keeper who comes off best. He's working really hard there, Lionel Messi, but I expected more from that. I didn't expect him for the, to go. Put a straightforward sprint, get there. Takes a touch from that angle, tries to find the far post. I was, I was waiting for a dummy, a drop of the shoulder. Clearly away from Sergio Ramos. You can see Luis Suarez racing to get alongside him. Lovely ball to Gareth Bale! Brilliant Bale! He needed one second to change the course of the game there. And now 11-man Real Madrid are equal against 10 men at Barcelona with 18 minutes to play. Well, I talked about Gareth Bale taking this game by the scruff of the neck because he has the quality, has the ability. And Real Madrid, you have to give credit to them. They keep fighting back. I know they've got the man advantage. It's a smart pass from Asensio into the path of Gareth Bale, who can take it on first time. Generates real power and wraps his foot around the ball with his left foot. Starts it outside the post. Absolutely no chance, no point in Ter Stegen, even diving. It's a brilliant finish from Gareth Bale to put Real Madrid back on level terms. Well, that has changed the dine. Gareth Bale. Asensio. Vasquez. Asensio again, prefers it on his left foot. Seeks. Marcelo, Marcelo trying to keep a cool head. Marcelo is winning no friends in Barcelona this evening. I think in the equalising goal for Real Madrid because two bad challenges in the first half. That was a penalty. Yep. It's a slight miscontrol for Marcelo, which believes that Jordi Alba makes Jordi Alba believe he's going to win the ball cleanly. Completely misses the ball, clatters into the shin of Marcelo, and that should have been a penalty. Well, for to Real the Madrid. naked, untrained eye them to the referee's eye as well in real play it didn't look like a penalty but next Paulinho Ramos makes a mistake Messi gets around Ramos <laughs> magic again from Lionel Messi he's just chasing everything he's working so hard scurrying around the, scurrying around the pitch putting Ramos under pressure forcing Ramos into a mistake Again, that's close, isn't it, towards the, the far post. Doesn't just get the necessary curl he's hoping for. Oh. An air kick from Ramos as his pocket is picked by Messi. Now he goes around Casemiro. And he tried to beat Navas at the near post. Audacious. But Kayla Navas is having a sensational game in the Real Madrid goal. And so is Lionel Messi, Robin. Picks up the ball here. Rakitic threads it around Casemiro, gets the other side so easy. Looks to see where the support is and tries to beat the goalkeeper at the near post. That was in a miss-hit cross, he's trying with his right foot to beat Kayla on that his near post. <laughs> it's in his mind, the goal from Kimmich against Bayern Munich as well, wasn't it? Similar position. towards Gerard Piquet, who gets his head on the ball, but it was from a, a standing start. Bumping into his old friend Sergio Ramos, there his partner for the, the national team. Oh, this was that brilliant take from Gareth Bale. It's a good pass from Asensio, he's looking the opposite direction, he's looking to the left, he disguises it when he shoves it into 